Unemployment is a huge problem in our society today, especially for African Americans. I sought out to speak with some people about this problem and what their opinions are on the situation. Okay, we're gonna start right now. All right. Okay then. All right, you help out a lot of people each day, but what demographic uh, do you help out the most? Uh, in terms of ethnic mm -hmm. or in terms of people in general? There's your people in general. Uh, right now, the ethnic part are more, more majority African-American and Latino. Mm -hmm. uh, sure. That's been the majority hit, mm -hmm. whether it be unemployment or whether it just be it's hard to find work and stuff. Got you. Perfect. Uh, do the, the certain demographic individuals, do these stick to the advice that you give them when you tell them about job search uh, techniques and things like that? Or, or do they just kind of stray away from them? Um, no, they yeah. don't stick to it. Okay. Unfortunately, because a lot of, it's a lot of foot traffic in the law. Mm -hmm. You have to tell a person to go through a number of different things. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they may have to go through a five different job trainings, mm -hmm. or a job club. Mm -hmm. uh, after a job club, you have to may have to attend a couple of different seminars, mm -hmm. a credit workshop, or repair, or anything like that. And mm -hmm. people don't want that. They want the quick mm -hmm. fix. So okay. uh, majority, it kind of weeds. They kind of like weed themselves out. Okay. Of time. Beautiful. <laughs> okay. Now, how many of them actually end up getting jobs afterward? All after all those things. After. After. after the majority who do that, mm -hmm. uh, percentage-wise, I would say uh, like 10%. It was then. Like 10%. It's really a small number uh, because at the same time, the still the employer really wants to still review that individual mm -hmm. and go through, you know, scrutinize. They're not, I want to use that word, but they really go technical on their, um, their resume as well. Uh, but we're able to get like 10%. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good. That's pretty if good. not, just probably a little more like 15%. But for the most part, it's not more than 20%. I was in Starbucks one day and I ran into an educated young lady named Kelly and she gave me some good feedback about what African Americans need to do to start breaking the unemployment barrier. Uh, what do you think about our this unemployment hole that we're in right now? Well, I think due to the lack of uh, not being able to go to school and college, um, I think that uh, a lot of people just don't have the education. Mm -hmm. And, you know, if you have the education, mm -hmm. you could possibly start your own business. Beautiful. Uh, you mentioned uh, starting your own business. Have you thought about doing that? Yes, I have. I'm in the process of actually starting my own business. Um, it's called Forever Expressive Memories. Mm -hmm. And um, it's a lot of detailish work, a lot of paperwork. But, um, I was one of the fortunate people to get financial aid to go to college, so I have a little background to help me get my business started. Next, I interviewed my friend Francis, who is currently a Cal State East-based student majoring into communications. He gave his personal take on the unemployment hole that we're in right now. Oh man, it's, it's bad. Like, you gotta look at it like from to the ghettos, to the suburbs, even anybody, middle age, middle class, whatever race, black, white, everybody's losing jobs, man. I mean, yeah. I, it's hard for me to find a job right now. I'm mm -hmm. a student, you know, I go to Cal State East Bay, you know, mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, the fees is a bitch. Mm -hmm. oh, excuse my language, it's, but it's a bitch. Like, mm -hmm. come on, man. I mean, I got to pay for parking permits, which mm -hmm. they raised it up like 40, 50 percent. Mm -hmm. Come on now. But, like, the recession is horrible right now. Thank mm -hmm. God Obama's in office. Hopefully everything mm -hmm. will change, you feel me? But, yeah, it's, it's, we, we in tough times right now, yeah. bro. I decided to go out to Richmond to interview my friend Sean, who lost his job a few months ago. And later that day, I had a brilliant interview with the lady about why African Americans can't find employment. So have you had any interviews lately or got any job offers? Uh, had an interview. I was waiting for a job offer, but I don't know what's going on now. Okay. You have a degree? No. Okay. Have you thought about starting your own business? No, so I'm on, I never wanted to start my own business only because, I mean, you don't have any vacation, you're always stressed, and it mm -hmm. just always seems hard, mm -hmm. too hard. It's, it's not fun. Mm -hmm. Got you. What do you feel is the problem out here with uh, African Americans being unemployed? I think racism is the problem. It's systematic. It is intentional. It is not an accident that so many of our communities lack employment opportunities, lack opportunities in terms of education and training. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Do you feel that African Americans don't try to improve themselves uh, uh, knowledge-wise and getting technical skills? No, I think uh, history has shown that African Americans have been geniuses, mm -hmm. that they put this nation together, and that we've shown uh, a resilience in terms of 
the racism that we have suffered under for the last 300 years on this continent. Mm -hmm. And after all, African Americans built the pyramids. Mm -hmm. So we've shown that we're highly intelligent, durable, athletic individuals, mm -hmm. and we want to succeed in all realms, which we've shown, whether it's in tennis or in golf or the presidency mm -hmm. or your everyday clerk behind the, the counter. Mm -hmm. The problem is that racism doesn't give us the opportunity to show um, what our skills are and it doesn't give us um, the ability to get our foot in the door oftentimes. As you can see, you have different perspectives from individuals who are unemployed and who work with those that aren't employed. When interviewing each person, I felt that I got sincere responses from each of them. I have faith in God that the situation we're in won't last for long.